two in pole position to take the quarterfinal and furia look at the battle back here on vertigo my state coach on by yanko for this one as we head on to the second map of the series Absolutely, Ding Kuan. You know, Inferno was a map where G2 lost both pistols as well. In a 16-13 game, they won 14 gun rounds to the 7 of Furia. That was the difference maker, and some of the individuals need to step up. Art in the opening kill department, it's rather just everything department, really. But this is their map pick. This is where they are hoping to bounce back and take us to a third. Well, Furia starting on the T side. G2 kicking it off on the defensive side, and we're about to get a ramp fight. Dallas, here we go. A fight straight away. Hunter into the battle. Couple of plays putting pressure on towards him already and Hunter realizes the sheer numbers coming as well. We have to try and reposition. Here is quick to the headshot. Alexi B looking to filter in and they're distracted by Oh, oh so slow, but Alexi B can't quite keep up the clean appearance he had on map one. He goes down here without a fight. And Jax at least getting a couple here for G2, but plenty more needed for the Frenchman. He's about to be pushed from elevator. Can Serato will find him and Furia have the first round. I think Furia did something similar in, in their last game on Vertigo as well, right? Just an A rush. You can see that G2 was sort of expecting it. They, they opened up 4A, just couldn't connect really on any of the shots. I think they also didn't have a plan for if the initial fight, you know, they were seem to be falling back, but didn't have set which positions are you falling back to. And then it was down to trying to hit some tough shots. Couldn't really make it happen. And Furia, third pistol round for them, and it's, they just keep, keep, keep making it happen. Well, we said these rounds are dangerous before for G2. It's Monacy on the scout this time. Deagle in the hands of Nico. We're all back to normality. Jack's just going to hold at the top stairs of walk. There's a smell. A bit of spam down, but no one going down just yet. Yeah, you're trying to figure out where they're set up. Fury is one of those teams that a lot of times on Vertigo, they group up a lot. Like it's a 4 1 setups, right? Even 5 manning sometimes. So you're trying to buy time to figure out where their focus is. So you can either rotate in or take map control somewhere, somewhere else on the map. And we still see, you know, just one smoke and a flash left on Alexi. Not much utility for G2 to work with. Little gap for Jax to play with. And even less for Furia, just a smoke. because Jax has a chance here with this angle. Oh, a piece up. Goes down immediately. And now safe making his way through middle. Center of his position, but dealing with him with inferior weapons. It's almost impossible as G2 starts to back away. No competition had in this round. If they give everything away in this round, literally will be nothing Hello. in the next. But Nico. He's found a double. Two, two guys are really low, but uh, yeah. G2 maybe doesn't know that. It feels like when Nico got those two picks, they've turned their goal of this round away from the save call to try and stick around, but they just haven't got enough time to really make anything happen of this. Not and Monacy well. is down. It's the uh, Hunter and Nico containment strategy. They're going to try and back away, maybe get something on the exit, but good bit of damage at least found there for Nico on the way up. They don't leave with nothing. And Furia go two to zero at the start of Vertigo. It was imperative to have a, a good start after how much they struggled, but to be honest, it's not going to matter all that much. It's going to come down to the gun rounds, and this is where they should be more comfortable, right, on Vertigo compared to Inferno by a large margin as well, right? And you'll see, like, it's going to be about art on ramp. You know, it sounds like a broken record, really, but that's what it's about. And, you know, Nico, Monesi, and Hunter are the A players, so the last time around, they didn't really do a great job of controlling that A ramp. We'll see if they have something different a little bit in store once we get to the gun rounds. Monesi, peering over the gap. And the smoke, can't see anything from it. Gaining ground quite quickly here, Furia, and they've done a great job at not putting themselves in positions where they're susceptible to getting picked out by the weaker weapons they track. I want to see they catch him as he tries to fall back. back Nico with another deagle kill added to the tally, but really shouldn't be getting out of hand here. Furia now swiftly make their way through the B-bomb side. Nice. Yeah, nice and clean. You want those, Serato. you know, you want to boost your confidence a little bit, right? If you Serato... They need him, right? He's absolutely crucial on this map on some of those lurks as well, while the rest of the team is, you know, fighting about uh, around the A ramp. He's lurking towards B or mid, trying to find good timing. And then they can even fall all the way back, right? He cuts off rotations. It's like where he's a massive nuisance on this map. 
And the problem for G2 sometimes is we'll talk about it more in the, in the second half, but you know, Nico is a guy who likes to be in the thick of things, right, where the fight is. You see that he's the banana player on Inferno. He's on ramp on, on vertical, but lately, a lot of times, he just dies. He's just the first death, really, you know, in some of those spam trades, some of the utility. So it feels like maybe moving him around could, could be something that G2 should look into. They have Nova and in Inferno as well, right? Nico was involved in a lot of the early fights. A lot of them didn't go their way. And you really want to have Nico involved for the majority of the round. If I'm G2 coming into this game, right, I'm telling them, use your nades early in gun rounds, right? Let's try to, you know, chip off, do some damage, maybe get some kills. Let's try to prolong the round. If it goes into late round, that's where Fury tends to struggle a little bit more if they can't find an opening kill. G2 on the other side of things, they're the best team at this tournament so far at converting 5v4s, right? And on the other side, Furia is second only to Movistar from the bottom in terms of kills being traded, right? That's due to Art making solo moves, so that has to change, right? If you just die and you're in a 4v5 against G2, they're very good at closing those rounds out. Timeout already. Yeah, early timeout. That's not good. And it's from Furia. Especially if it's from Furia. It's like, it's your map pick. Why are you taking a timeout now? <laughs> you, know, you usually have it like figured out, okay, if we win, if we're 3-0 up, this is what we're doing the first gun round. If we're, you know, down 0-2 and we buy, like you have that set. Even if you just say, we're going to do default and we'll try to finish the round on A, right? So this is probably either Gary didn't like the call that, that he heard from ours. So he's like trying to over call or maybe someone didn't understand what they were supposed to do. So first gun round, really important that through one pistol, you want to make sure everyone's on the same page. You know what you're doing. Maybe someone forgot a strat. That's when, you know, the bad comes out. <laughs> the bad coach. But uh, yeah, we are in a position now where the buy has begun. Furia charging right through middle with some ill intent towards the G2 players and Hunter. The first player to try and deal with Furia. Spotted, getting back in the elevator, but goes back into the peak again. This time he dies. Monacy, one pick, that's not going to be enough for G2 to feel comfortable. And when a Furia get that kill, it's pulling out of middle and now focusing back on the play towards A. Nico's under pressure, has to use utility to get out of there. And Furia will put the bomb down. They're just letting the plant be almost by himself there with no support. They really, they really believed in him getting the bomb down. And they're lucky he did because he died instantly after that. Now it's a 3v3. Yeah, that kill coming back gets G2 right back into this. There's a kit on Nico and uh, nades on Alexi. Plenty of options and plenty of opportunities to get back into this round for G2. Safe positions on top ramp. AWP peering for the first kill. He's going more proactive in this fight. Wants it. Can't quite land the headshot, just a pixel spotted. Not accurate enough to bring down a G2 player. So they take some control of the site. Can't surrender. He sweeps his way out short, but Nico needs to get on. He's getting blocked by his teammates, but the they kills are all coming in. And he goes right to the defuse. Nico Woo. is going to hold it through. And G2 will find the first gun round here on Vertigo. I bet that someone who was dead, you know, it's like, Nico, you have the kit, you have to get on it because he was holding gap. And uh, he tries to run and there's such limited time again, to get blocked from his teammate. They get to get blocked just like on Inferno. But what did I tell you, Dinko? You know, you want to prolong the round, you want to use your utility early. One minute, 40 seconds, they're in a 3v4 situation, right? So it didn't really work out. I, w I was surprised, uh, you know, Furia just left. I think it was hard planting the bomb and, and they all fell back. Maybe they were expecting a quick flank or something along those lines. But that was a, a, a massive uh, retake for G2 to pull off. And, you know, Furia will be kicking themselves. They had a chance to go 4-0 up. We saw how it went on Inferno on their T side and the first gun round slips away from them. Slipping his way through the short smoke already. He's trying to be quick about this, but gets caught by Arp's flash. Yuri blinded and sets up Nico. G2's first kill. It was also a flash play from Monesty. Like, they do this a lot. It's like a counter for Art, really. Yeah. And I don't think Yuri got blinded uh, that much, but he just got the kill. And Serato gets the kill. Okay, Serato looking to find some control towards his way, but unfortunately, not much ground being taken. Jax quickly removing him from the server. And we now look at a minute on the clock in Monesty. Starting to get a little bit more advanced in his play. He's playing beyond the Molotov, so he can stay here. They don't know that. And this is a smart play from Monacy, but he couldn't quite see the player beneath the metal. Could have taken down Art, but now it is Furia moving the way through short. He's isolated, though. He's in a good position to make a play, and he does 4v2 now. Oh, Monacy, fantastic. Another one found Art down, and it is kept. G2, two rounds on the board. And that's a smart play for Monacy to get himself into that position. Yeah, he found great space there, really. There's no way they would expect him. And, you know, you're looking, why does he repick? Well, he repicks because the call is for everyone to just push them, not to let them plant the bomb. And 
I like that as well. This could have been a little bit dicey. I think Serato knew you kill Alexi with a nade out. That means Jax is still somewhere in the corner, right? So I think he knew his position, just couldn't get the kill, and that could have been, you know, really, really tricky for G2 if Jax fell down as well. Well, now, speaking of tricky, let's look at the buy for Furia. Not great at all, and that's the worst start. You take one of the premium rifle, the only one in play, and it's getting mauled in middle. G2 having a fantastic time at dealing with this. The pace isn't working for Furia. They're getting some great reads, Dinko, right? Like Hunter, you saw him how he died in the first gun round, so when you see his name in the same position, there's no way you expect Alexi to be close behind the box, right? That's from the start was going to be, you know, G2's round again, and... They just seem to get really good reads on Furia. I think they really did their, you know, homework compared to some of the previous games. And this next round is I mean, definitely going to be look at the easy. Like, there's Nico is behind there as well. Like, they're, they're all kind of set up, ready to react to this. And that's the thing, right? With, with Fury, it's a lot of this, I don't want to say death ball, like just kind of moving together as a group, but they want to take map control as a group early on, and then they will start maybe moving around, faking a little bit. And, you know, if you can deny them that or make it an unfavorable trade for them, it's going to be much easier to play out the rest of the rounds. Big from Alexi. Want to see Nico sweeping it up. Easy peasy, as you would expect. And one player goes down. And the last time around, G2 had a lot of issues with the fast ramp take from Furia, right? With R just running through some flashes behind them. They even won uh, a round Furia did with like a half by, you know, one AK, some, a Mac 10, some pistols. So G2 was really getting caught off guard. It was really frustrating to watch if you were a G2 fan. Um, but, you know, that's something that it's easy to look back and say, hey, let's just be a little bit more careful. Let's just not get caught by a guy running in first. Let's make sure someone is always has his gun out and is covering that. If you, if the other guys are throwing counter utility, if they're throwing incendiaries down, smokes, flashes behind, right? You need to be solid. You don't need to do anything super complex or fancy against Furia. You just need to not get caught off guard, really, most of the time. Well, let's see if there's any adjustment here for Furia. They need a better start in these gun rounds. The buy is back again. Still no AWP on safe. Yeah, it's going to be a problem. And it's quick out middle again in terms of Arch utility. And Arch taking some control on his own. The rest of the forces for Furia are making their way up the B stairs. Arch is pushing, getting into the smoke. Really trying to be a problem, but Hunter comes around the other side. He's countered Arch's play, and now Jax is trying to hold down the bomb site. It's another pick from Jax, but gets traded out this time for Furia. There's still a player down. Alexi is close to the site, and Nico fending off Kez Serato. So it's a one-pronged approach now for Furia. Two players trying to make their way through the B site. This is very chaotic, but G2 needs to reset a little bit. They were in a 4v2. It's one pick for Yuri. The save goes down, so Yuri has to do absolutely everything. Literally has to get the ace to win this round. And there's another one. It's down to just Nico at 15. And Yuri suddenly from a round that looked like it had no right to go Furious way. It has got into the 1v1. Nico predicts the play, makes the call to go over towards the A side, but Yuri is going back up the ladder into middle. Yeah, that's a great round for Yuri, great recovery, and G2 again with the man advantage, right? In that sort of a situation, it's hard because things are, trades are happening fast, but you need to keep an eye out the numbers, the number of players, right? Don't fight, don't, don't give them a 1v1 if you're in a 4v2. Make sure there's a teammate there to get the trade, and Yuri with some great shots made it into a 1v1. Nico is low as well after that fight with Xerato, and... He's gone to the wrong side. Yuri's gone over towards B. This is almost impossible for Nico to win, right? He doesn't have time to clear everything. He would have to make noise, and we'll see if he even goes for it. I think because it's Nico, he will. He could also have the option to save Monesi's op. Yuri, not known to be an opper, but in this sort of a round with low HP, definitely doable. He has the positional advantage as well. Nico comes back over construction. Yuri just holding for this one position, expecting Nico to come in. Here's the miss shot, and Nico recovers. That could have been an absolute disaster. But G2 will secure the round win. Not known to be an upper Dinko. You said it. I'm not sure if he got the information over from Serato, if he could even keep track to who he did damage, right? You know, maybe he was low, he could have stayed on the AK, but. I mean, that wasn't a tough shot. A player like Yuri hits that nine times out of ten, but this one time, these were some sick shots from him with the AK. Oh, you hate to see that. Yeah, it's just, look at that. Just a little late to react. 
Nico comes on by. Nico put his skates on. He did. Skates on by. Because of the low HP, it's an instant kill from it. And a you side for lead from Jax. 4v3 in the first gun round. Now this clutch here, right? It just doesn't seem to be furious day. Right? You know, things are not going right. You saw that you remember the clutches from Inferno as well. Yeah, the little details, the, the differences are not going furious way right now. A couple of those clutches go the other way, potentially a different story, but G2 stay afloat again. Fury have got back into it with another buy. AK's out. And if you, you know, if you want to look at it from the bright side, they did only have one alive, so they did a lot of damage to, to G2's economy at the very least. Yeah, the max loss bonus as well here for Fury. Five in a row for G2. Nico on the boost comes away with the first. Like you see these different setups, like little changes that G2 made so to now get the opening kill instead of being a mad down, but Art here, he's just gonna push the envelope. Realizes the space is needed here for Furia. He's the man to get it time and time again. On top of the sandbar, I don't see anybody. G2 not giving a chance away. They have two flashes left in code. It's one minute, 15 seconds. Like, how are they going to get into the bomb site? Potentially a fly on a play through middle. From Kersarada to try and create some of that space, but Alexi B is doing a fantastic job of just gathering info from these shoulder peaks, these jump peaks. Once again, picks up the info, the flying cap readies the G2 players, rifles, and it's just Yuri. This time, will be coming closer to clutch. Five players stay up for G2, a flawless one added to the tally. And I think this round was a great example of why you want to prolong the round against Furia and how easier it will be to play against them. Now you even got an entry kill, right? But to not die early on. Like, this looks super disjointed after that. You can see they had no utility to really penetrate the defense that first wave even. And I'm telling you, this jump spotting for info, they all got that from Monesi. Like they all saw him do that in clutches and they're like, wow, this is actually this is sick. really good. This is sick and it's a great, it was a great time in the round to just do go for the information. You don't need to get any more kills. You just need to figure out where the remaining players are so you can reset your setup. Yeah, we heard LNCB talk to, to James Banks after that last map and mentioned how, you know, you're getting the information upon that peak on the jiggle. So definitely working out for it. Round 10. Looks good for G2. In terms of what Fury brought to the table, let's see AK here for Yuri, the couple of upgraded pistols. Mark once again takes up position on top of the sandbar. He's not finding anything. And Yuri oh, actually slips through the smoke and catches a chance on towards Nico. And Monesi perhaps too quick for his own. Dirk does recover on the second time of asking. Won't miss twice. Well, he just takes one shot. There's now G2 need to focus up to close this one up. There's a chance here for Fury to weasel the way back in, but Hunter stabilizes. Oh, it's just the pistols trying to make their way towards the site. Alexi B realizes that gap, that right side is open. He can push forward and use that smoke as cover. It's up a better fight, but Fury will be happy about this. They've got the bomb down, and they're now dropping back to try and hold it off and see how much damage they can really do. But at this point, it is now just Castorado stuck away. Defuse can come in right now for G2. Alexi B will secure that, and Castorado will have to concede. I think he's going to try and save the armor. We'll see if Jax finds him here at the very end. No, he just gives away the... Oh, he can't pick up the guy. He can't make the jump. You know, at this point in time for G2, they're being very dominant, right? Not just the scoreline. They won now seven rounds in a row, right? But, you know, a couple of the, the last rounds weren't really that close even. So now the name of the game is discipline, right? If you're Xtas now, you're telling them, guys, there's still five rounds to be played. Like, don't get complacent. Don't overextend, don't be overly aggressive in rounds where we, where we get the advantage, right? Because Furia can't really get anything done. Like, after that first gun round, you know, it was that hero round from Yuri that even made it close. So, until they come up with a way to, to win a round from you, don't give them any gifts, basically. And I think that round will, will definitely be a little bit of a scare, a slap on the wrist for G2 to be aware of complacency, but... Timeout needed again. It was all right. I liked, you know, you saw how Alexi in the 4v3 in the end, he, he heard the planter, but he didn't peek because there was a flash that was about to be thrown for him, right? Like, that's the sort of patience and discipline that you love to see now from G2. Furia running towards ramp early. Here's the death ball. Five guys towards a ramp. No, but it's been slowed and halted by the utility of G2, and Nico's just pushed all the way down. We wanted to see Nico step up. 14 and 3 right now, make it 14 kills now as Nico will peel away with a pick. Monesi's alongside of him. The sharpest tools in G2 Shed. Doing as much work as they can to shut this one down, but Fury have done a great job at drawing those kills back. And they've still got it at a 2 versus 2. 
the equilibrium will be established. This might be and Jax trying to close it out. But Safe has snapped his skull, and it's just Jax alone. Comes through. Oh, through elevator. Quick from Jax. Now just one left. It's safe on 22 HP. And Jax is just dropped back. Safe goes through the smoke phase. It's safe. But Jax will spot him out. And G2 continue their run off rounds. Jax pulls off the clutch. I remember a Jax clutch, Dinko. You don't see them very often. He's usually the first guy to go in and, and die by the great round there. They also knew his position, right? Because he threw the flash for Alexi right before he died. That was a insane shot on, on, on Serrano, really clean. He was the full HP guy, and after that, Jax had the advantage, a little bit of a dance there. <laughs> It's cool. Great we've dancer, seen... by the way, Jax. Yeah, I can believe it. We've seen Alexei B, and we've seen Jax now pulling off some clutches for the, for the G2 side. This is definitely what you want to see from the defensive side. Finally, the off on safe, right? Maybe that's like the change that they need, really. You could see the death ball in the previous round, and that was when G2 had a three-man aggressive push-down ramp, right? This was the first time, I think, that they did it. So another example of having just very good reads on, on what is it that FURIA tries to do, what are the adjustments that they want to make. It's really been an uphill battle in every single round for FURIA just to gain some space, not even get any kills or get close to the bomb site. Oh, a drop. Very lucky to not be burnt right now. He's going to stay on the other side of the wood for the time being. He's down to 43. Oh, and Jax will check him. Methodical upon that clearance. And drop is knocked down. Alexi B, man, and his utility as Monesi here is waiting for the clearing gap. He's got it. Hard down. Another one added to the tally for G2, and you brought it up. These rounds haven't been close, really. You have to try and pull this back if you're Furia. Monesi commits to the fight. Confident in his own ability, gets punished for it. And now Nico, he's Good about there. to be cleared. But it's if they double in towards him. Nico tries to unleash some fury, but no kill will come through. The Furia players are low, they're weakened up. And a chance potentially for a couple of shots to land, but G2 have no utility to capitalize upon that. They have to use the rifles. Two players coming back in from the ramp side. Alex should let Jax go first a little bit. They won't know about both of the players. Well, Jax has definitely gone first here. He's found Yuri. He's ripped him apart. Alexi B comes second in, and it's just Ken Serato tasked with holding everything. He has to secure the round here for Fury and put an end to the streak of G2. Oh, in the corner. Oh, Serato oh. nearly, nearly gets back. That first transfer is disgusting, but can't capitalize upon the opportunity. Oh, that was so close. I thought for sure, I saw the first guy jumping, and I'm like, that's I, brilliant, that's yeah, great for G2, perfect. like, there's no way they lose this now, and the transfer comes in and can't connect on the third kill at the very end. That was nearly unbelievable. Look at this, the quick transfer, snappy onto the head of Hunter. And Jax was just too much, and Fury, you, you've got to feel like so many of these rounds. Can, can't we just get one of these yeah, our just way? Right? Just give us one, right? Just give us one so there's some momentum as well, a, a shift, right? The confidence, something like that to get them believing that they can come back into this game. Nine rounds in a row now, Nico. They haven't won anything since the pistol and the conversion, and it's another 5v4 for G2. Yeah, safe, just getting burnt out. This is difficult to watch for Fury up. Art now being brought down to. 30, uh, 37 HP. I mean, th this is Art really being cancelled out. G2 have cancelled Art in terms of his ability to, to be that nuisance, to find that success in the early round. Art just isn't doing it right now. Absolutely. And, you know, he's the focal player for Furia on this map. But to be honest, like, they're not getting much from, from different players either because the defense from G2 is so solid. They get the opening kill almost every single round. There's some ground here towards the A side. G2 don't mind sitting back though. When you get that opening kill, they're cool just sitting back and letting this one come down to even potentially a retake, but they're stopping that bomb from even going down. Nico's kill on drop has loosened the bomb up in the open. Fury have to use a smoke to get it back. They haven't been able to plant it yet. They haven't got into the position where they feel comfortable to do so. And here come the nades as well. Right on top of default, Yuri on 4 HP. But his teammates are now going down. Yuri's sticking around. He's going to try and pull a kill back, and he's done very well to grab the head of Alexi B. We've seen the Fangs pull a two versus five off earlier on today. Another one needed here for them. Ken Serrato brings down a couple. Nico and Jax head out of the round, but Monesi and Hunter will recover. G2 continue their streak. It is now double figures on Vertigo.
And again, you can just see right there still how you play the man advantage in the clutch. 4v2, the low HP guy goes first. Xerato gets one more, but he can't get all three. Doesn't expect the third player. You know, Yuri is low and Monesi disposes of him. Ten rounds in a row, and I'll tell you, Dinko, Art got two kills in the pistol round and one kill in the Antico in the third round. That's it. He That's zero impact. He, does, he didn't get a single kill so far in the gun rounds. Yeah, and... Completely neutralized by G2. Yeah, he is such a pivotal piece to Furious' success, in particular on this T side. To go missing like that is a death sentence, really. Yuri and Kesarov have had a couple of flashes in the pan, a couple of close rounds. They maybe tease one over, but none of them, none of them are going Furious' way. A little bit more control being taken towards ramp this time. G2 applying too much pressure. Yeah, this time around, you know, they, they thought it was going to be more a mid to B play. They had two players on mid to shut that down. Uh, Furia, again, going for a bit slower ramp control this time around, but not that, man, not, not that much utility left for them. And Monesi, another entry kill on Art. Oh, Nico through the smoke. It just can't get worse here for Furia. He's getting toyed with. Drop Yuri and safe, left alone to try and recover this one for Furia. And you're constantly at such a significant disadvantage. It's really hard to see a world in which you really fight your way back into contention. Yuri has taken out Nico, but they need to keep these three players up and they need to continue to get kills. Drop removes Hunter. It's back to the 3v3. A chance finally for Furia to pick up around. A fair fight at least. And another pick for Yuri. Jax does a great job again. It is Jax and Alexi B that have been in this position before that have pulled the rounds off. But Furia realize how much this one is needed. How much this round means to their half. Drop gets another, but it's all down to him. Jax coming around the corner. Oh, he's done it again. Jax with another shot. It turns out it's Jax that is the star right now. Absolutely, they got two clutches from Jax in one half. What's happening? This is incredible. 14 and 6 right now. Nico obviously having a, a big performance, but Jax in the playoffs delivering like this, fantastic to but, see. You know, this is one of those games where, yeah, Nico has the most frags, and you know, everyone's had their moment. Jax has two big clutches, Monesi some kills, but this is a team effort in a sense. G2 is one step ahead of Fury, and most of these kills are, you know, it doesn't matter if Nico's there or Jax is there or Hunter, like the, the player will get the kill because they know what's coming. They're in an advantageous situation. They have good positions. They have to jump on Fury every single time. So we didn't see that many heroics outside of that, you know, one clutch really from, from Nico. Well, Jax, another couple I added to his tally. Why not? Four kills in a row. There we go, Jax. There you go, Art, he's arrived. A couple of picks now coming back, and Yuri! Oh, he really wants a few rounds. He's got them so close time and time again. But Furia have yet to be able to convert one of them. Alexi B and Jax once again in a position to try and pull this one back. Alexi B searches for Art in the midst of the smokes. The leader out, and Furia down to two. No smokes for G2. Maybe there's something dropped along the way that they can pick up. So smoke defuse is not going to be a thing. Some still utility left for, for Furia and Yuri in such a deep position gets the jump on Alexi. Yeah, now Jax. Can Jax do it for a third time? Can he do it again? That is the question on everybody's mind right now. Jax on 39 HP, so far away from the site. He has, I think to, has to start making noise and, you know, now that they know where he's coming from, th this is a near impossible clutch for Jax to win. Furia needs to mess up here. Yeah, we got safe on the booster position, elevator occupied. Jax would have to pull off. Miraculous play, but also Furia would need to slip up a little bit. So four rounds will be secured at the end of the first half. G2 feeling good, but finally that streak is closed. Join us after the break. We'll see you in G2 will take 2-0. What up, Future Pros? 
I have a nifty fast A smoke I saw Apex throw to help you on your pistol A rushes. You throw this smoke from the T spawn and it will block off the left side of the A side, allowing your teammates to run up short with a bit of smoke coverage. To throw the smoke, first shoot out the glass above. Really, this is the only one you need to break. But shoot them all anyway. Then get yourself stuck into this invisible corner next to this beam. Aim between these two dots as shown and jump out the smoke. This smoke will soar through the sky and land perfectly to block off the vision of short from the bomb site nice and early. As long as your teammates take out anyone playing close, you will have a decent standing to win the round. Good luck and rush A? It's a it's a matchup that we played a couple times now. We came on top one time, uh, we lost the second time, but it's always been 2-1 games, so it's never been really one-sided. Have to give it to them on the major, they played really well. Um, they deserved it, but now we finally get to play on, on a stage again after Katowice, so it feels good. But yeah, we are looking to get some revenge here. Welcome back to Dallas. It's time to see if G2 can close this quarterfinal 2-0 and put themselves in a spot in the semifinals. And so it's the winner of this matchup. And it's certainly looking like G2 are in pole position to do so. Fury are going to have to pull off an incredible half of CS to get back into this one. Yes, indeed, Dinko, you know, also not just the scoreline, but the manner in which G2 was winning round was pretty dominant. And I don't know, I think that first gun round is going to haunt Furia for a while if they end up losing this game, right? 4v3 situation would have been a completely different ball game. But hey, it's not over yet. It is not over yet. G2 versus Furia. Second half getting underway. And we're right into the pistol round as G2 is set up towards the bottom of the beast. As Furia have made some space in middle. Drops pushed all the way through. They can actually get in behind them pretty quickly here. Art looks to fend off the beast as play. Flashes, smokes being deployed to try and delay, and Art will certainly do that. So another kill picked up for Art. Switches out to the Glock instead. Drop. Also has taken Nico out of the round, and G2 are hemorrhaging players quite quickly here. They need a couple back right now, and that's exactly what Monacy and Alexi B have done. Again, drop, providing so much impact from his initial play through middle. They need to make a decision here. Dink, are going to push CT or push drop? And the problem is the bomb's gone down, and there's no other options. Keserato sweeps them up. And Furia pick up a must-needed pistol round. Yeah, that quick clank from drop was was crucial there. You know, when you're getting pinched like that, you have to go for it, right? You, you won't be able to just plant the bomb initially, and <laughs> that's the easiest kill of drop's life. And the fourth pistol round for Furia. At least they have that going their way. We see G2 doesn't decide to go for the fours here. They have plenty of rounds to work with. But I hate this. Why do you buy, like, why do Nico and Hunter buy a P250? Well, Nico didn't spend a sound drop into them, I don't know. But, you know, is that really going to make a difference, Nico? Who knows? Or are you going to use that motto? Of course, there's a kill. P250's <laughs> Red Supreme, yeah, you know. Oh, man. Couple of kills already. This cast is bursting, really is. It's powerful, actually. isn't it? It's it really like, is. It's actually is the thing. We didn't do our ritual I didn't even morning. get initiated, so. Yeah. You're just, you're just, uh, wild and out with your cast across the moment. But. First gun round about to come, and yeah, here's what I, I was saying previously. You know, Nico on that A ramp, I don't think it's like he has. I think what they should do is what Cloud9 does. 
put him into Exile's position, right? Make him the B lurker, and while you're creating chaos on A, he can get a 1v1 fight potentially on B, right? I think that would be more useful, maybe, unless they can find a way, you know, for someone else to die instead of him on ramp, so he can be more impactful. You don't want him to be the first death, you know, 80% of your gun round. Honestly, not too far off, sprinkling some damage up there, but he's the player that comes out worse for wear. It gets chunked down, but it's about to be the mid-fight. Safe and drop, doubled up. There's an elevation change here as well, so it's Two difficult to take well. them down. And at the ready to try and take down the onslaught of G2 players. Jax goes around the corner first, a nasty surprise, but he will communicate that information on. And so no swing comes out to try and trade it. A flash goes in instead, and ineffective for G2 to pull that kill back. Now they're focusing on going up towards A. Pretty slow round, trying to sneak mid, right? Trying to switch it up a little bit in the standard ramp fight with the majority of your players. Just a smoke and a flash left as well. They're going to rely on some dry peaks, right? Nick was going to probably walk up ramp or walk gap and, and try to find someone before they go into the execute. Forty-five seconds. What I, the ideal thing for G2 here is as they try, as they wanted to go for the boost here, they're going to get good timing, I think. Oh, I just can't quite see the angle. Now Hunter's going to play, right? The, the call was for him to, for them to get a kill so he can play on mid, but the counter boost brings it back. Yeah, the boost works out. Yuri able to rip apart a couple, and Furia in a very good position. Hunter's out mid. His teammates all down in the bomb. No one near him with 20 seconds. Trying to save that AK. Yeah, he was the joker, right? Like, the, the play was supposed to be for him once they get a kill or create some space so he can move in, flank, and, you know, they had time to maybe even go back after that, but unfortunately, they lose all the all the guys on A, and, and he can't really do much after this kill, just save the AK, but that was a good setup from Furia, right? Like, waiting for the timing, understanding when to go up, find some kills, and, and Yuri had a, a good hold, a strong hold. So a good start here for Fury in terms of picking up the first three of the second half. They did that in the first half of the first three rounds. That's when it all went wrong. But considering uh, we're going to see a G2 half by across the players that didn't save a weapon. Yeah, and these are not, you know, this is not a great save. I don't like this save from Hunter. I would have wanted him to go and die because the next round he's not going to have, he's going to have to play the next round okay. with like a Mac 10 or something, right? Like, yes, you're still up, but... You know, just play the normal gun round. You know, yes, in this round he could do maybe something with the AK, but the loss bonus isn't that much that the rest of the players can buy armor and a lot of nades. So, in reality, you're probably just going to end up getting a kill or two. And then the next round you have to play it. You know, all of a sudden, you can, it can be 11-10, 11-9, right? And you haven't really played a proper gun round. Peek out the corner, or just get a headshot. That might just work. Alexa B is coming through with a Tech 9 as well. Again, some space. They've created a gaping hole in the Fury of Defense. And Jackson Middle gets caught somehow. Jax has gone down there, and two versus three. That's an essential kill to find because it keeps them competitive in this one. Are right, looking to leap out from construction. Alex is the only one with the with the armor here, though. This is still doable for Fury. Art moves forward. There's a boost going on with Nico. And Lexi B trying to peer over the top to watch the construction, leaving Monacy to deal with the players in the site. And Nico connects the headshot. It's just Art alone. Lack of impact in the first half could certainly make up for it in this position, but got to run back and get the kit. And the smoke. The smoke's found as well. Can deploy that on the site. I think that's starting to become his only option. Alexi B's moved into his own creation. That cord or a smoke, letting him get closer to the site, gives him an angle to try to spam down onto it, and Lexi B will do exactly that to take the round for G2. That started with an AK in started Hunter's hands. Started with a genius save from Hunter, Dinko. I was <laughs> telling you always when you can save that AK, you never know. Yes, you are right. One kill is all it takes. You're all about that saved AK, and you can see why. And Nico obviously getting a couple of impact strikes here too. That boost was a nice little addition. Very difficult to make something happen there for Furia if you get taken out of the boost. So back to a scrappy buy again for Furia. We did say it went bad after three rounds that are on the first half. Furia can't afford to let that happen here. G2 on 12 already. Yeah, they really need it. You know, they, 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 that's the problem. At level four half, there's not really that much room for mistakes, right? You can't be losing to half buys to one AK being saved. Feels like another big momentum shift in favor of G2. As they're going for deep ramp control this time around. They're all the way clearing the boxes. And they will get it, but 
that's it. There's just one smoke left. There's still plenty of time for G2. That's why they're waiting this out. They understand they don't need this control right now. They're waiting to see how deep will Furia push, trying to get more information before they make their move. G2 is starting to slip their way forward. Art playing in a close position with the MP9, his teammate a little further back, the rifle support. G2 not coming around the corner just yet. Safe, it, safe came as well a little bit closer because Art just hears so many players. He hears three players at least, right? So they know the immediate danger is towards A. No longer. 35 seconds. G2 are going back to the B side. They're going to put pressure on Castorado and drop. MP9 playing close. Drop has been spotted. Information now gathered. MP9 needs to start getting ready here. Castorado will be in a powerful position to try and take away one. Jax is down, but traded out instantly. And not a kill from Drop, but the rotations come back. They're all there, Dinko. It is quick from Fury up. They're trying to strike him, but it's not happening. G2 getting every single kill, and they are staring down the battle out of a semi-final against Entz. Wow, like the Fury again, they had all the information in this round. They had deep ramp control. They were coming back towards the B bomb, bomb set. You could see they were all there, but they just can't win the fights, Dinko. Yeah, they had everything they needed there to try and make that one competitive. One drop goes down with a rifle with no impact. It's a little unfortunate. Fury in a difficult position. Art has bought into this one. Diving down. Fury MP9. Yeah, you don't see that one often, and that's probably why. I don't know, some things I just, I just failed to understand, you know. Maybe he's playing 60 chess or something, but how is that worth it for, for his team? I'm not really sure. Jax just cleaning up, adding kills to his tally. Uh, G2 take the round on autopilot. We now have to see a timeout come through for Fury, the last one they can use up here. The last time they'll have their coach on the mic. These are rough, Dinko, I'll tell you that. I I've been here before, right? Like, your team is losing, nothing's going your way. You, you have to take a timeout because you have to do something. But there's not really much you can actually do in the game, right? It comes down to they're just outplaying you a little bit in every round. You your players are not getting some of the kills that your opponents are getting, right? There's no coach quote, unfortunately, for shoot better. Right, it's like there's no, there's no really tactical adjustments here for Furia to did? make. They've been playing decent, like on the on the CT side, right? They weren't really getting like super out position or anything. But you know, Hunter in that round with the with the entry kill, uh, with the AK and, and Tech Nine, right? Sometimes you just lose some of those early fights. You get put in a bad situation, and you know, as we talked about it, G2 very good at closing out rounds when they get the advantage, when they get the opening kill, and it's been all G2 in that department in this game. Well, this is it for Furia, really, in the quarterfinals. You pick this round up, or it is likely over for you here in Dallas. Monacy. Can be towards B, and he'll find his chance. Drop. A little caught in the open. And G2 extend the advantage further. Casarado will start to feel the pressure. The fact is here for G2, they found that first kill, but they've still got so much time to play with. Alexi B pushing forward with the bomb on his back. So no secret about where they want to go here. And Castorado, he's going to peek on out. A double kill found. Aware that there was another player here. There was a lot of sound going this way. Alexi B is in a tough spot here. He's got the bomb on his back. Almost needs to rely on Jax to make something happen. And he's yeah. about to be called from behind. Yuri gets the drop on him. Got a kill on Nico earlier in the round as well. Now Alexi in a 1v3. We've seen him do this earlier. So uh, I think Furia still remembers it as well. Yeah, I wouldn't count him out just yet. They'll have a sting at the back of their head. We'll see if Alexi B can pull this one off. Spots out Serato, but that was the yeah, chance. That was the opportunity. Really feels like you need to take that one. Alexi B, how many more of those are going to be coming your way? Keeps on safe being a bit more, or rather Yuri. Safe's actually potentially about to go down, but the flank is starting to come through. Alexi B, this thought has to go through his head. He turns, but just too many directions he has to be pulled in. And Furia will survive that crucial round. Yes, indeed. And there's, you know, G2 still didn't get to 15, so Furia has that one extra. You know, at this point, you are kind of, overtime is the name of the game for you, right? It's going to be very difficult seeing G2 with how well they're playing to not win a single round towards the end. But, you know, considering how far behind Fury is, overtime is a win at this point. So you just need a couple of rounds together, you know. They need 
a highlight round from someone, you know, they need someone with a 3k stepping in, something to pump them up, you know, to get the blood flowing, to get the energy up again. You can see Fury looks a little bit deflated on the player camps. Understandably so, right? They're getting beat up at the moment and that can turn very quickly, you know, a good round, G2. No strangers to giving up leads and making mistakes of their own, right? So it's still in the very much in the realm of possibility for Furia to come back into this one. Yeah, last time we were on a big IEM stage, we've seen G2 have significant leads and let them slip. I think they're a team that will be uh, pretty battle-hardened when it comes to those positions. Timeout taken for G2 ahead of this round. Try and settle their way into it. Ryan is still there. They want to close it out here and now. They want to get 15 themselves in prime position to close this early. Lexi B, look at that, getting chunked down to 26 alongside Nico, taking significant damage, but the shot is returned, and Yuri's down to 20 as well. And you can see, you know, swapping up all the nades of the guns as well. He's relegated to the MP9 now, with the low HP. And G2 just being patient again, right? Like, they're they reacting to what Furia is doing, trying to figure out what is their control, and a lot of these boosts over the smoke thing. Yeah, this is how you deal with the smoke because Serato, when the smoke is down, you're aware of those little gimmicks around it. We saw it from Mahone in the plan of attack, right? He was exactly. pointing out this exact smoke, and G2 had an answer for it, just not the correct one. Not the one that Cancerado wasn't expecting. He's gonna stick back on the side again. What an impressive player he was a couple rounds ago, and that crucial round win that Furia picked up. There's plenty of utility here left for G2, right? They, they can do if it's a full B exec. There's three players there, that's a bit too much, but you know, if you isolate a couple of positions, then it's still doable, right? You need just one entry kill to gather up some space and allow Nico to play here on the flank. Likes to be very, being very vocal right now. Utility's about to come in for G2 towards this side, letting Nico play through middle. Trying to take them off and sever them off, but Art has found him. Kesharada swings out with 10 seconds left. Ball is loose, and everybody goes down. That is a much better round for Furia. Everybody stays up. That's more like it, right? Flawless round, getting the reads, getting the rotations in. They knew exactly what G2 was doing throughout that round, and that's what you want to see, right? Like this round, one more, and they're right back into it. You know, then G2 starts second guessing themselves. You know, now they need to can't keep playing default. You need to take more risks yourselves. You don't want to just play the rounds the same way and keep losing, obviously. Furia need to take that opportunity now to just build on that, and that's a fantastic start. They got them on a half by as well. So some breathing room right now. Now it's getting into now it's getting into the domain of G2. If they don't get the bomb down, they can't keep rebuying all the time. So a couple of you know easier rounds potentially for Furia to prolong this game. Maybe even close it out to take it to overtime. Double figures, Mark. We're starting to believe again. Yuri removes Jax. They're right in the vision of Furia right now within the arena. They do see that Brazilian corner up there, so the support they are aware is unenforced today. G2 right now should be discussing how they want to deny that deep ramp control for Furia because that's too much control being being given away then in turn they have too much information and the rotations are much faster right so you need to either go for the early fight if you're g2 like try to run up ramp try to send the player with the best pawn uh, up towards the scaffolding something along those lines right or you try to time them as they're throwing the deep utility you go for the flash play through the smoke right but that's hard because save has an off now so you know he's going to be holding like the deep angle he's not going to get flashed by anything from that position so they need to kind of find a way to do that. They, 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 are, they can't keep playing as passive as they were on A-Ram. Smoke goes down, prevents vision. The nades have been incredible. They're eating Korea. so much damage every round, yeah. Every single round, someone is down below half HP, this time it's Monacy. And you know, now Fury is doing it with two players only, right? And then they're still establishing that ramp control, so that's a huge advantage for them. They're not going to expect save here. Yeah, if you go through middle, you're about to walk into the big green gun. Save is a turret in mid, tasked with dealing with Alexi B's play right in towards it. Furia have the first pick, and there's a minute and 10 seconds left. Yeah, now it's tough, right, because you see the utility on, on G2. Just two smokes and one HE, right? Again, 
having to rely on probably Nico or Monesi to find an opening and then just push that advantage, try to swarm the side. But you can see they didn't even have they, have, they don't have B lobby control, they don't have A ramp. <laughs> Where are you, all your nades? Where did all your nades go? I guess they didn't have all of them because the economy wasn't great, but again with the boost. I think Serato is he's, way too good to be caught by this. He's the master of that position. Once that smoke goes down, he's going to be aware if you try and play with a smoke, you're going to be in a couple of the only possible extremities. G2 playing on the smoke fade away. Here they come. 25 seconds. Good flash out. That gives Fury an easy kill. Drunk collects it. Can Serato snappy to it? And G2, well, they're not really in a few of these rounds right now. This is starting to shift over to the Furious side significantly. Looking like a save. These saves are terrible, Dinko. <laughs> yeah, man. Last no, time this they situation did it. is different, right? Because they'll be able to have by Nico probably get the kill here as well. Or no. Hunter can't go down here. Luckily, we'll hang on to the AK. So Hunter once again saves the AK. Yeah, the, <laughs> yeah, I see, I see it happening. So if you're G2 here, what I would do is I'd go for now with the half by you go for a ramp rush, you know, like a fast ramp take. And even if you get shut down, you might trick them into thinking like, okay, they just did that, they're not gonna do it again. But then you do it again with the guns, right? So you, you try to almost use the half by, which is a buy that you're not super, you know, don't have a high percentage likelihood of winning it. You use it to bait them so that in the gun round, you can get what you want to do, actually to make it easier for you to execute it, right? So we'll see what, what, what G2 does. Maybe it's too early for them to do that. Maybe they feel content with their default, right? But after those first couple of rounds, they, they've stalled out. They have. The T side woes are no secret to the G2 side of things. But the AK in the hands of Hunter. The timeout was called ahead of this one. We'll see what they call out of spawn. The death ball of G2 this time committing towards A. It is quick on this one. It's going to try and deploy utility to try and slow it down and take the sting out of the play. Alexi B's done damage, but has been damaged up himself. No kill yet found for G2 with utility. It stifled the quickness of this play for G2. Fury opened 4A, so they had the read on this, right? Still some damage being traded. This is a good G2 hasn't been in a position this good for a while. Getting this control, unfortunately, oh. not in a round where they have the guns and now a man down as well. That is unfortunate for Jax. Loses his head through the slight piece of wood and right now for g2 when you call something quick like that and it gets slowed by the utility it's gonna feel rough that you're just caught in this position it's tough basically you know hunter is gonna bait his teammates to try to get some kills try to make something happen but fury has a really strong set of here Monacy's cleared out drop, but the sandbikes, will they check it? Because drop got taken down, that gives the element of surprise oh. over to Yuri, but Nico will find him. And Sig will have to reply. He's done that quickly. 40 a flash seconds. On you have to make the move here, G2. You have to get the ground. Problem is they haven't fully cleared out short in such a powerful position, but the flash is effective. Monacy getting taken down. That puts the bomb loose and gives the peek over to save. He does fall off the hands of Hunter. And this AK saved over from the last round. He cannot get it done on the Caserato. G2 make it a little scary there for Furia, but they keep moving forward with more round wins. There was a chance. I saw the flash play coming in, right? If they could get that kill without dying, but Art was also a nuisance with, with two HP, just keep being keep, kept being aggressive, finding kills. And Nico was a, aware still of that. And now I want to see what now what both teams do. Fury just started 4A against a half by. Will they do it again? No, they decide to go 3A. And G2 should do the exact same thing they did. And it seems like they are going for it. Yeah, it is quick again. Smoke deployed. There's no real challenge just yet until Yuri is showing up. Flash goes down, he peeks over the crane corner, but unable to find anything just yet. G2 are just surviving the utility. This time they haven't taken damage. I say that, Nico literally, as soon as that happens, gets taken down to 58 HP, but G2 have got the ramp control for the time being. Only one molly, I don't know if they're going to use it for sandbags. Yeah. Or if they would expect a player to be there two rounds in a row. Probably not. If you have one molly, I, I find it hard to believe they're going to use it for sandbags. Oh, there or... He goes on in. Yuri's going to use the smoke instead, and then swings out into the open. Hard takes Monty out. Jax able to reply back. So we're one for one in terms of fights right now. And we hit the minute mark. 
problem for G2 on the last round. They never really got control of the short side of the A side. It was a big problem for them in the late round with the time started to tick, not getting that control. Furia with set up a flash and drop goes for the peak. Doesn't see anybody. So then alleviate position comes back into the site. The time is starting to tick. And G2 realize they need to start moving forward. Kill's starting to come through already. Safe is taking down a light TP to the smoke and the bomb is loose. Jax picks it up and slaps it down on default, but Safe is moving forward straight into the fight. Couldn't quite come away with a pick. And there we go. Safe with a warbang will bring down Jax on the second time of asking. It is now Nico and Hunter left alone in the clutch. How many times have we seen these two players pull it off? Because it's never a comfortable position when you're up against these two. Couple of shots off to the left side. Kesarado and Safe start to move in. They don't have the smoke to put the pressure. It is the pick straight away. Kesarado coming through. Nico with the one in the time. It's just taking too far. Safe realizes that. He runs away. And G2, they're on that point. They're one away from the semi finals. That's more like it from G2, right? It's, as soon as you get ramp control and then, you know, some trades at least start happening, the, the game becomes much easier to play on the T side. And yeah, Nico and Hunter are always very good when they're alone. The Serbian is flowing, Dinko. The calmness is there. We all saw that, you know, video piece from Inferno. They're in the zone. But again, Fury is within reach now. If they win this round, the money is not there for G2. That's most likely, you know, they have an easier way getting it into 15-15. And G2 switches it up with a B push. Yeah, it's a quick B play. Kesarado caught by the pace. G2 switching it up to try and close this one out. Drop has a bit of a gap. Trying to catch him as they cross over to the side. Doing everything he can to keep Furia in the competition, but it's not going to be enough. Safe and Yuri need to step up. They're and a couple of kills have players. come through. And as you point out, they have bolstered the defense. G2 haven't quite been able to crack through just yet. Nico would love to get this pick, but Art takes him out. Nico's down, and so now Furia are the team with the advantage with a bomb safely in their hands as well. Absolutely, and just one flash on Monesi as well. Hunter's coming back through, slipping his way deeper and deeper into the site. They haven't seen him yet. Hunter has to pick up that info, but look how quick Hunter is to pull that back. Hunter gets taken down, so it's all on the star alone. Monacy into the clutch. What for the jump info picks now? As soon as you say it, it begins. Monacy considers the flank around the other side, but they're playing together and safe this time. Will not have any Monacy antics. Takes him out. This game is heating up. Two away from overtime. You look at G2's money. And it ain't looking good. It's going to be a half buy coming in in this round for G2, which creates that opportunity for Furia to pull it back to 14 to force this to round 30. And who knows where it might go then. Either a 2 0 for G2 or we head to overtime. Yeah, that's what we were saying, right? After that last round, the clutch from, from Nico and Hunter, they, they spent all their money really for the buy. Another fast play on mid. It is quick. Off through middle, drop. Handles it well. Jack's no longer there. Nico, with the to be inside of mid. Just really seeing what they can find. Is there any ground they can make out? But can they get close to construction and put pressure onto Art? You know, we're about to find the answer. They get over construction, but the kills to Kesarado come in and sweep it on by. Hunter now in a 1v4. Not a great. No, not a great <laughs> save. <laughs> not a great chance, but you know, he, gets, he gets at least one more kill. And it's down to round 30, Dinko. It really is you know all down to this. 11 4 is the most dangerous score line. They always say that. I'm sure there's some people out there enjoying All right, but that. But let's just look into that round that I thought G2 had a very good chance of winning. So focus on the B bomb site, right? Once they once they get there, they get the entry kill on Serato. They're in a 5v3 situation. But what's happening is Furia knows it's a fast play. They're all rotating, you know, towards B. They were all already there. So in that sort of a situation, you just need to stop. You need to freeze if you're G2 and just wait for those pushes, right? Like it's almost as if when you rush dust, when you rush B on dust two, and you get the entry kill and then there's flashes coming in and players coming in through window and you get caught using your own molly smokes like you don't want that to happen really so you just want to have your gun out and the kills are going to keep coming in g2 a bit got a little bit too ahead of themselves in that sort of a situation in a 5v3 allowed furia to get back into it and you know it's hard sometimes to stay composed right you're getting the entry kills you want to get the bomb down but you need to be aware 
and move here into round 30, Dinko. Round 30 needed between Furia and G2 in this quarterfinal. Damage being done both on Monacy and Art, but both of them live to tell the tale. It's all gonna be about Ram here. Like, G2 has to try and take Ram. And if they manage, you know, the kills are gonna happen before they even get to the bomb site. so... Attention upon this round, particularly for Furia. Safe gets boosted up. And G2 is slow down the play. Flash goes in to allow Alexi B to clear the close position. There's a lot of spots to clear, right? The off angles and everything. You have to keep using your utility, so we'll see if this is going to be the one that they check. Will the boost catch them again? Safe elevated. Shots begin to come through. Furia taking some control, or rather G2 on the top ramp. Safe up on the boost, will they get something from it? Oh, spotting, spotted a leg, sees Monacy, brings him down. The sniper out of the round for G2. He has to sit back and watch the remaining four screens. Try and pull this one off in the last 30 seconds. Smoke is onto the site. G2 attempting the 2-0. 20 seconds left, and Furia has four players on A. This is going to be very difficult for G2. Jax is leading the charge. Some impact found in the first half. We'd love to get some more impact here to try and close it. They're getting closer. They spot two looking the wrong way, but all the kills are coming in. Furia, they're going to pull it all the way to overtime. This map needs to go the distance and a little bit more. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll get into the bonus rounds.
Tell me now why you want to wait. Running, running out. Overtime is about to get underway. After 30 rounds of play, G2 and Furia are inseparable here on Vertigo. G2 had such a strong lead, but couldn't quite finish it off. 11-14 called the most dangerous lead in all of Counter-Strike, right? And what a comeback from Furia, man. That was impressive. I see some Brazilian fans in here. Yeah, I see Any a few Furia of fans in the house? How about G2? I think I've got a little advantage here at G2 with the crowd support, but we'll see how that pans out as we get into Fury versus G2 on overtime. Monacy immediately looking towards the B-Stars for the first peak. Nothing coming his way, so instead we now focus on the ramp fight instead. A couple of bullets go on through, but no one going down yet. And the 3A opening from Fury as well, safe, being on A now as well, towards mid. Bit of damage traded there between Nico and Yuri. And G2 really committed to this A ram. Like they want to make sure they win these fights and they want to end the round on A. No secrets there, no surprises really. Safe is holding. Peak eventually comes. Jax into his crosshair. The sniper of Furia getting the first of overtime. And Art helps to follow up. G2 have to do this in a three versus five. Yeah, and another one. You know, we were talking about Banana on Inferno, how, you know, Furia couldn't win the fight there. On A ramp, it's the opposite now on Vertigo, they're coming out on top in all these early skirmishes. Just like G2 was doing to them on their CT side. He totally goes in to try and disperse a couple of the short-sided players and force them into Nico's crosshair. They went too far away from doing that, but not finding anything. Instead, they send out Monacy, and he'll certainly do something about that. Yuri down. Monacy looking for the second pick. Worried about the short play forward. Fury have deployed a smoke into the site to deal with that in uh, 20 seconds. Art could be a bit of a nuisance as he runs right through it. He leaps on by. Bomb is down. And this is starting to crumble for G2. It's just Monacy flicking back. The time is the limiting factor here, and he's just not finding the kills. He gets caught from all directions. And Furia with the first round of overtime. Now there's now a difficult call for G2, right? Do you keep pushing A ramp? Right, you keep forcing the issue there, which I think you have to. It's too easy of a call for Furia to now move safe to mid again or send him to B and switch things up, right? Because you're losing that fight. But before you can change things, if you're G2, you have to win that fight. You have to win a round. It's too easy for Furia to read you otherwise. Honestly. Holding for the P, but the utility comes down and disallows that. And you can see now, Fury with the 2-1-2 two, two opening. Safe is again holding that angle on mid where he caught Alexi earlier. And this is something G2 needs to, they need to be able to read this, right? To realize there's two players blocking them and not waste too much time. Safe is not going to stay here forever. At some point, he's going to rotate. Once the utility passes from Fury, the deep smokes dissipate. At that point, it's too late if you're G2 to go for the fight. You see, it's constant. There was the smokes. Now it's the molly. There's going to be a flash. G2 is so far behind. I think they want to, they want to make it seem like they're giving it up and then pick a good timing to sneak. Well, Art, always a nuisance around the smokes. One way in front of him. G2 have to be worried about this. And Art catches Alexi B with an aid in hand. That's a free pick for Art as he goes back in again with a flash. And Jackson Nico pulling a couple back and keeping this round competitive. Nico plays from Sampais. Tied down to 22, but a Jury that's unleashed. Hunter and Nico go down. And it's all on the Frenchman of Jax yet again. He did the heavy lifting and clutches early on in this game. Not as much impact felt from him in the second half, but maybe. Just maybe this could be the round for him. The bomb is in front of him. 20 seconds goes into the open, gets caught in their transition, and has taken out Furia with 17 rounds now to the 15 of G2. Playing really well at the moment, Furia. 
Their faces have changed. <laughs> Their faces have changed. A lot more energy. You can see the fans are getting more loud for them as well. Maybe a bit of a, you know, it seems like G2 lost a little bit track of the players in this round. They killed Drop. Drop is the supporter of Cerrado, so to speak, right? So if Yuri's still alive, he's somewhere around there. You can't be pulling out nades. You need to hold gap in that situation. Just wait for him to activate, basically. And he had great timing. Basically won the round for his team with the double kill. Finally, they, they put the player a bit more forward early on on ramp with Hunter. And Fura repeats the setup with a 2-1-2 save being on mid with the AWP. Art this time. A boost. He chose a one way in the last round to be disruptive this time. He's chosen on top of Yuri's head to get a better and deeper angle on towards Nico. Damage was deployed and it was the molly to finish it off. Advantage now with Fury, a shot was not too far off, but Alexi P is the fighter pulls it back for G2. Hunter goes down to short. And Furia keeping themselves afloat and ahead in this round. Oh, Monacy! Headshot right up through the smoke on the tip of the top of drop. And Yuri's in a position still strong towards short, but they're focusing on him. Now he swings out. Oh. He's going down on the other side. Jax is damn quick to the headshot, but Safe is quick to respond. 2v2. Monacy gets caught in the flank, so it's all in Alexi B this time. Climbs on top of the boxes, searching for the kill, trying to turn it into the 1v1, but Safe will dodge away, ducking and weaving Furia head to map point. Oh, it feels like G2 really needed that round, right? The city side was really strong, but the momentum has shifted now. They're not in the lead anymore. They're not, you know, dominating like they were in the first half. They're actually with their backs against the wall. They need to win every single round just to take this into double overtime. And I think Furia is going to capitalize on that, right? You're going to see blistering pace from them, I think, early on in this T round. Just put all the pressure on the G2 players to really, you know, stop them early on. Oh, for G2, but they've could, been here know, too many times. Fury is finding so much success on A with his off angles. Why? Because they did the, the boost two times. Then there was this set of the boost on, you know, yellow. Then there was the off angle from Art over the one-way smoke. Then one round safe is like holding the deep angle. And G2, you know, you can't... Ch you check for one thing, they are the other place, and you die, you get caught, and they've really been dominating them in that A fight. We'll see if G2 can do the same. They were doing an amazing job themselves on their own CT side, but, you know... Time ago. It's all very Furia long time now. ago. I think the mentality has shifted. You have to remember that came out of a map one win. Oh, all guns blazing, and now you've just been battered and bruised and all the way to the overtime. They have B lobby, and they also have deep ramp down. So this is a completely different situation than what G2 was was dealing with, right? The, the, the dynamic is completely different. They have more space. They, they took more space. They have more room to work with. There's more options for them, and more things G2 has to worry about. Art coming through middle, Hunter up on top of the standby, so Art has to drop away. Under a minute now left on this timer. Furia just need one T round, one single round to be picked up. And we go again. Looks like they're changing their mind, going back towards A. Drop, going to use some of the utility maybe to just pull a rotation buy them a little bit more time so they can pounce on that a bomb side you know this is this is the utility you set up to react preparing the b execute right and that's going to maybe the the, the idea is for that to get the call oh they're, they're setting up for a b execute let's start moving but actually they're just sneaking up a and it's all down to nico here I mean, down, Nico does damage. He takes one, but would have loved the second. The kill back from Yuri keeps Furia in a position where they're close to closing this. Monacy, he's got it. He's got the pick. Hunter helps that's out, it. and that's the time gone. Furia leave it late, and if you're not perfect in those last few scenarios, well, you're going to be staring down the barrel of a round loss. It's true. Uh, Yuri dies after time, but, you know, they still have plenty of money. I think that was, we didn't get to see it, but I think Nico used his smoke just based off of time, even though he didn't hear anything, because you saw that they were trying to, to go through the smoke, but he could have, you know, if he just died there without getting the kill, that probably would have been enough for Furia to get into the site. And also the fake, G2 didn't really buy it. I mean, they were still 3A. So we'll see, maybe something a bit more aggressive now for Furia. And yes, it's the mid rush. 
Well, commitment through Art. That's very quick indeed. Elevator smoke comes in. Hunter. Wow. Panic stations now. G2 have lost a lot of control almost immediately in the round. Hunter looking to see if he can do anything about it. If he can drop back into CT. Put pressure on the Fury of players, but they're preventing him from getting involved with that volley going deep. Yuri goes over the top, and Hunter will find him. The kills go G2's way. And Furious quick play hasn't really amounted to too much. Yeah, it looked like they, they, they did the perfect call, right? They cut off the rotations for the CTs, but Alexi got another kill. Now oh, he's dying. It's still dangerous for Jax. Jax is isolated here. He is under a lot of pressure. Point from the default pillars and boxes stacked upon wow. each other, and Jax will stack kills one on top of each other. Safe and Art out of there. Cassarado looking to try and close Fury of this round. And the map picks up the ball, but Hunter will find him. And we are one away from another overtime. G2 staying in this one, not going down without a fight. It's really hard to, to explain, you know, how much pressure the players are feeling in that sort of a round from Furia, right? Like, you, you saw the Hunter's getting cut off. He understands he can't, you know, push through that smoke. He will be die. He will be dead uh, for sure. He goes into CT and you know someone's waiting for you, but you know you have to go. Like, you have to go for the fight there. If you just give all of that space up, you're leaving your teammates 2v5. Attack from three sides, basically. So hugely important there to weather the storm, so to speak. And now they're just one round away for from double overtime G2. Going for the boost of their own. And Nico looking for it. Yuri down below him. Not yet coming into the cross hat. They've actually taken some short control. Nico needs to pull the kill back, but there's a time oh, staying no. up there. And they're all going down. G2 looking to crumble, but Alexi B stepping up with a few. Yuri right back to it. And Jax now with everything. The hopes and dreams of G2 is 2-0 oh, on oh, his shoulders, and it isn't going to happen. What a comeback from Furia. What a performance as they pull off the second map. And we need Mirage to figure out the victors of this series.